Hi everyone, I want to show you what my Bath & Body Works store currently looks like. They recently dropped their new summer collection and they did some rearranging. The first section I'm showing you is the Tropical Paradise collection and I wanted to check out the sunscreens and the UV filters because I hadn't done that already. It's just a very basic American sunscreen with their filters. I believe they have homocellate, avobenzone, which unfortunately you can't take that to Hawaii, but other than that, it seems okay. The tube is a lot bigger than what I initially thought it was. There were a lot of people in the front that wanted to check out the new collection, so I wanted to see the other sections. You can see they still have their summer candles and the other collections that have recently dropped. But they did have the Confetti Cake Pop repackaged, the Pink Watermelon Blast, and Firecracker Pop. And unfortunately, I it pains me to say this, but I will not be getting the Confetti Cake Pop. Or I should say Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. It, um, something about me is that I don't like coconut scents. I have a very strong distaste for it. And while I feel like this isn't supposed to have coconut, it reminds me very much so of coconut cream pie. However, the coconut scent was toned down a lot. It almost seems like a weak version of coconut cream pie. And I don't know why I got that. I had my sister also smell the fragrance and she picked up a coconut hint as well. So I love gourmand scents, but I'm not going to be purchasing this. The pink watermelon blast, I liked it more than the pink watermelon fine fragrance mist that came out during the last semi-annual sale. I feel like this one smells like a sweeter, candier version. There is that little bit of tartness to it that prevents it from being totally fruity sweet. So I think that one I'm going to purchase it during the semi-annual sale. The Firecracker Pop smells good, however, I'm, I'm not too sure about it. I want to get it in a mini and I couldn't find it, so I ended up not going for it. The other new collection that they have is Summer Melody and I oddly like this one. I know it has like a melon note to it, but I feel like it doesn't remind me of cucumber melon for whatever reason. This one has a fruity sweetness to it that I really enjoy. I have a feeling it's the um, vanilla, the bronzed vanilla note in this fragrance that makes it a little bit more appealing to me. Now, I feel like I have a renowned love for Buttercup and Bellini. I thought I wouldn't like it because of that Prosecco note because I don't really like the bubbly notes and stuff and I have found a new appreciation for it. So here is just the scents that came out. Right next to it is the aromatherapy that was most recently released right after the rose cacao and all of the tea invigor like the tea collection. And I hadn't smelled the this aromatherapy. So my favorite out of the collection is the Hibiscus Mandarin Violet. I feel like despite it having a floral note to it, I like it. I feel like I can smell it and I tend to like really strong fragrances. Uh, my least favorite one I think was the Eucalyptus one just because I feel like that was, it, it just smelled like essential oil, like too much like essential oil. And right now I was looking for Beach Nights, which is funny because they had a very big display, but I just couldn't find it. I also had a few exchanges, so I was looking for the travel size section. And as you can tell, they have um, quite a lot of displays at my store. They have, of course, the stuff on the walls, but they were also advertising at the beach and their core collection, like A Thousand Wishes, Japanese Cherry Blossom. And I feel like those are fairly popular. I finally got to the travel size section, which they didn't have too many, but I, in my preference, I really enjoy the happy birthday which is just merry cookie repackaged as far as i know i feel like the happy birthday travel size fine fragrance mist is what i wanted vanilla confetti sparkle to be i feel like that's a true gourmand i don't get any hints of coconut it's just perfect so i ended up getting that one to exchange for a different scent i was still trying to find beach nights and i don't know how i missed it but uh, an associate kindly pointed me to their display and I feel kind of bummed that I don't really like beach nights. Surprisingly, my sister likes it. Um, I just believe that on the opening, when you first smell beach nights, it's just way too much like alcohol. Here is the display. It's right next to at the beach as well. And I feel like it smells too much like alcohol in the opening. I still have it on me right now, and I feel like 
as time goes on, it's still there, but it's like a lingering scent. I feel like it doesn't project like other fragrances do. It's more of like a cozy scent. I was hoping that this smelled more like marshmallow, but to me, I pick up more that salty, that salty note in it. And I also feel like, I don't know, I'm just really bummed that I don't like the scent more than what I do. I might do a review on it, but here I was just sampling the collection and I was really trying to convince myself that I liked it, but I ended up not using my free reward. I have two items that I want to use up my free rewards before they expire in June and it's not going to be beach nights. I think I would only purchase Beach Nights if it was 75% off. Um, I don't know if they will have it during the semi-annual sale, but if I miss out on it, I won't be heartbroken over it. I think I'd be heartbroken if I were to, let's say, go on a third-party reselling website and had paid like 60 bucks for it. It's just not the scent for me. It's not what I had envisioned. I had a very clear idea of what I wanted beach nights to smell and this wasn't it. I much prefer the vanilla rainbow sprinkles that was a Canadian exclusive that later came to US outlets and I a, a thousand percent prefer boardwalk marshmallow clouds. So yeah I just wanted to show you what my store currently looked like and their setup. Um, I really hope that if you like it you go check it out for yourself because it's true that you shouldn't base your purchasing solely on someone else's review the best way to find out is if you go in store and smell it for yourself if possible all right thanks so much for watching this quick video okay bye